Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Walk. Happy Friday. It's May 29th, and hard to believe this is your last activity for social studies. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. So what I want to talk to you today about is how to have a safer summer vacation. First, you need to be sun smart. Doctors recommend that all children wear a sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Always wear your sunglasses in the bright sun and make sure they have a label saying that they block UV rays. Wear a hat with a wide brim to shade your face, your head, your ears, and your neck. Wear loose fitting, lightweight, lightly colored clothing. Seek shade when the sun is at its strongest, and that's usually between 10 in the morning until two in the afternoon. Rest breaks help your body recover. Resting in the shade or air conditioning helps you cool down. Next, you need to be water wise. What do I mean by that? Well, drink plenty of water before, during, and after play. Don't wait until you feel thirsty. And always remember, to wear an appropriately sized U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket when you are in a boat near open bodies of water or participating in water sports. Swim safe. Use the buddy system when you go swimming. Always make sure a trusted adult is watching. Avoid pipes, drains, and other openings in pools. There's often dangerous high suction in these areas. And no running. You could slip or trip hurting yourself or someone else. Stay out of the water during a thunderstorm. Remember, water conducts electricity. Okay, ready, click, go. Wear your helmet every time you get on anything with wheels. A helmet's going to provide some protection for your face, your head, and brain in case you fall down. Wear light or bright colored clothing and shoes that cover your toes. Listen for vehicles and others on the road. Leave your headphones or earbuds at home. Check your tires for air before you try. Make sure your brakes work properly. You want to be safe out there. Okay, everyone loves a good barbecue, but remember, stay at least three feet away from a grill or a fire to avoid burns. And you want to get out and enjoy the great outdoors. So when you're playing, hiking, or camping, protect yourself from mosquitoes and ticks by using insect and tick repellent. Do a tick check after you're coming in from outside activities. Now remember, the poison ivy plant has three leaves on one stem. When oil from poison ivy touches your skin, it can cause a red itchy rash and blistering. Do not touch. The oil can be transmitted to other people. That's really uncomfortable. Okay, when thunder roars, go indoors. What do I mean by that? Well, when you hear thunder, you need to get indoors quickly. Head for a house, school, or large building. And if you can't get indoors, get in a hardtop car, bus, or truck. Stay off of phones, computers, and video games. Never, never go under a tree. You wanna use your brain. Don't wait for rain. Lightning can hurt you even before it rains. Well, that's going to do it for my summer safety tips. I want you to talk to someone in your family about how you're going to stay safe this summer. And remember, summer plus safety equals fun. Have a great summer vacation, boys and girls. We miss you, stay safe, and we wanna hear all about your summer vacation and what you did for fun when you return in the fall. Okay guys, take care, we'll see you. We miss you.